from the point of view of this particular speciality, like regulatory compliance, finance related services, what are the pros and cons uh, if people possibly consider the same career path? Um, the weather here, if you choose to go offshore, <laughs> but um, uh, <laughs> overall, I see it's, it's a fast developing area. So that's the pro and the con, as much it is. It depends which way you spin it and how, what you're looking for. Here in particular, it's a, it's a smaller jurisdiction which falls under the Commonwealth, but you get to see legislation come and go super quick, which is super fun because there's a lot of industry involvement in, um, in what's going on. But yeah, the evolving, it constantly changing. It's not the same every day. It's not the same every year. There's always something coming in that you need to then advise clients on and you're getting down to the black letter law because you're immediately confronted with new legislation. So you're straight down to black letter, reading it. What's the implementation? What's, you know, what's this going to look like? What the effects are? So um, I like it because it's challenging. It's interesting. It's constantly changing. The con is it's constantly changing and it's challenging. So I say it sort of works off there. At the moment, we don't deal with a lot of individuals. So you kind of lack, although you get to know people, there's that personal element that's maybe a little lacking when you sort of get to really um, get to know your client and work in, you know, it's a little bit different. You're dealing with organizations and entities and, and things like that. But yeah, it's definitely enjoyable and uh, yeah, it's good to keep up with it. It gives you um, this opportunity to work outside of the UK and live in different exotic jurisdictions, right? How, how is it with expats? How the life is there? How are you treated in your law firm? Do you find, how did you find friends? Do you have friends? How is it about that? Yeah, so interestingly enough, I, this is my second offshore jurisdiction and I was firstly in Bermuda, which came from Google <laughs> because I was looking to reduce my commuting distance because I was studying so I wanted to garnish some more time so um that's that was my first introduction to sort of life offshore um, the great thing about it is you know only really speaking from my experience in Bermuda and Cayman but you know they're English speaking countries they're part of the Commonwealth the um the laws are different you know there's a few different names and a few different acronyms but it all follows the same sort of principles and and system and um and yeah they're very welcoming it's fun to be i have a lot of uh, caymanian friends a lot of jamaican friends honduran it's a it's a real melting pot and um there's something called cayman kind and one of the things that i really like and enjoy about being in the jurisdiction is it's it's kind of corporate law on a global level but in a village atmosphere <laughs> that's great so, definition yeah great. so it's yeah, so you get to know everyone, you get to see everybody, but you're still doing corporate work. But your commute, my commute's eight minutes, which is just ridiculous. And uh, yeah, despite the little suntan, the sun's... Um... That's my next question. It should be slightly warm for you if we compare against England. Yeah, it's, it's very warm, albeit now um, it's a bit of an active hurricane. We have hurricane season. So um, it's been some sunny days, but some bright nights of uh, some lightning and thunderstorms, but uh, no rain yet. But um, and I think the hurricanes have kind of avoided us thus far, but it's a pretty busy Atlantic hurricane season. And I think there's Lee impending on uh, the north of the Caribbean. But um, yeah, the hurricane season isn't the most fun, but otherwise it is it's brilliant beaches and great weather. Amazing. We are a little bit jealous. <laughs> So uh, 